This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan-African news network. I am Ruo Panawa, and this is Africa Now. It is raining forgiveness. French President Emmanuel Macron, in a visit to Rwanda on Thursday, recognized France's role in the 1994 Rwandan genocide and acknowledged the country had ignored warnings of the impending massacre. The 1994 genocide that took place between April to July left some 800,000 to 1 million ethnic Tutsis and moderate Hutus dead. According to Rwanda's President Paul Kagame, President Macron's acceptance of France's responsibility was an act of tremendous courage. In a related development, more than a century later, Germany has admitted and apologized for the mass killings and property seizures it has termed genocide in Namibia. It has also agreed to pay its then colony more than 1 billion euros in development aid. At least 60,000 Herero and around 10,000 Nama died between 1904 and 1908 after the tribes rebelled against German rule in the colony then named German South West Africa. According to the Namibian presidential spokesperson Alfredo Hengari on Thursday, he said the implementation modalities can only commence after the president has spoken to the affected communities. And to politics, after months of long delays in Somalia's election that even prompted the crisis, Prime Minister Mohamed Hussein Rubble on Thursday signed an agreement to allow indirect elections to take place. The country's presidential elections, which were scheduled to take place, could not after a disagreement among leaders on how to hold the election. According to the agreement, elections will be held within the next 60 days, with each region conducting the vote in two venues. Updates on COVID-19. The World Health Organization, during a weekly media briefing on Thursday in Addis Ababa, says Africa needs at least 20 million second doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine within six weeks. At a minimum, Africa needs at least 20 million AstraZeneca vaccines by mid-July to deliver second doses to everyone who received their first shots. Africa needs vaccines now. Any pause in our vaccination campaigns will lead to lost lives and lost hope. Another 200 million doses are needed so that the continent can vaccinate 10% of its population by September this year, as called for by the WHO Director General at the World Health Assembly this week. As WHO John Nkengasong, the director of Africa's Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Africa CDC, appealed to the international community to provide vaccine doses to the end what he called a collective security issue. Macron speaking in Rwanda says that France will deliver 30 million vaccines to the continent by the end of the year. Germany would also deliver 30 million doses and the European Union more than 100 million doses. This is your digital first Pan-African news network, TOS Television. You are watching Africa Now. We move to business after the break. Do stay tuned. Welcome back. In business, the World Bank's Digital Economy Diagnostics Report for Zimbabwe finds that the country's digital financial services are the strongest foundation for the further development of the digital economy in the country. The report that was launched on Thursday says in an African initiative by the World Bank to examine the present level of digital economy development across the continent. According to the report, 96% of all transactions in the Southern African are done through a well-developed digital payment system used extensively by the government for its core business. Still on Southern Africa, in its food inflation brief, the Bureau for Food and Agricultural Policy reported that last month, South African food and non-alcoholic beverages price inflation rose 6.3% year-on-year from April 2020 to April 2021. The BFAP reported that the high global commodity prices and an increase in domestic manufacturing and distribution costs played significant roles in edging local food and NAB inflation higher. And in Nigeria, according to Godwin Emefiele, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, about 35 trillion naira worth of investments in infrastructure is needed to enable Nigeria's economy post a double-digit growth. 
The effects of the COVID-19 pandemic took a toll on the economy and save for interventions, Nigeria would not have been able to exit recession yet. State governors have been urged to make their states economically operational in order to reduce the dependence they have on allocations from the Federation account. Still on business, according to Patrick Unjoroge, governor of the Central Bank of Kenya, the country is expecting loans from the International Monetary Fund, the African Development Bank and the World Bank as part of the budgetary support needed for economic recovery from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. These new loan disbursements are coming regardless of the immense pressure on the national treasury to cut back on its borrowing that might plunge the country into a debt crisis. At the moment, the country's total public debt stands at 7.3 trillion shillings. After a recorded loss of over $1 billion in 2020 in Uganda's tourism sector due to the coronavirus pandemic, the industry is said to be showing signs of recovery. The country's tourism earnings in 2020 dropped by 73% to $0.5 billion from over $1.6 billion end in previous years. Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Tourism, Wildlife and Antiquities, Doreen Katusime, told reporters on Thursday that the sector is witnessing an increased number of tourists, airlines and accommodation, and tour operators bookings. This is your Digital First Pan African News Network, TOS Television. You are watching Africa Now. Entertainment news after the break. Do stay tuned. Thank you for staying with us on the entertainment scene. Nigerian stars Borna Boy and Whiskid and Tanzania's Diamond Platinums have been nominated among UK, France and Brazil artists for Best International Act at the 2021 BET Awards. Borna Boy had won Best International Act at the 2019 and 2020 BET Awards. The award show that was hosted virtually last year because of the pandemic will hold on June 27 with a live audience. And that is Africa Now. For more updates, do visit our website at www.toscbnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. To stay with us on drama programs on TOS Television Network, I am Ruel Panawa. Thanks for watching. <laughs>